put it up, Gus. This is Angus, he's my driver today in my Delica. So what we're doing, we've got a steel wire rope joined onto the car here with the shackle and we're pulling through, a pull, through one pulley through a second pulley and then lowering down the pipe column into the bore. Now, we've got it supporting here under a little bit of load so I can just hold this shackle and easily spin it to undo it. Now, so far that's six pipes hanging off there. So we've got 36 meters pipe. We're not at the water yet. The water's down 60 meters. So there we go, just a little bit of pressure. Now Gus knows exactly where to put that. Hey Hamish, could you get me another wire brush? This one broke. Could you get me another wire brush? Thanks. Come back a little bit, four inches. It's needing to lower it down a touch. So it's spring loaded. Look at that, perfect. Yep. Yeah, I think there's one with the blue handle on your baskets, I'm pretty sure, somewhere. Might be buried, just have a look. No, it's got to be a brush. Now, I'm open to ideas on uh, what works really well as a sealant, because one, don't really like uh, stuff with crazy warnings. Methacrylic sounds really bad. Methacrylic ester. Why well, I'm wearing gloves. Um, but I do want something that's like an anti seize. Now I have got anti seize, but this is only the second time I've ever put this column back down. So I'm open to some ideas. Leave me a comment because I'd really like to know um, what works really well in this situation. This definitely goes on nice, it's just there might be something better out there.
see that thread down there is almost locked up. I'm taking him to the point where I can get a touch more out of him. Down! Those jams just on that first bit of PVC casing. It's a signal to lower the pulley. It gets about the right tension so I can undo it and it doesn't hit the ground. Kill the engine signal. How's the engine temperature? 